y'all. I'm Bessie Nicole, and welcome to Best Life TV, where I talk all things black owned. So today, I'm going to discuss ill maquillage and do a whole wear test for y'all. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, y'all. So I have my brows on, kind of, sort of, you know what I'm saying, uh, drinking my little green tea. This is actually from a, a black owned brand as well. It was gifted to me. I have to ask my girl exactly where she got this. Okay, so let's get right into it. All right. So this is the Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation in the shade 240. It's uh, one fluid ounce and it retails for $44 for the foundation. I also picked up the cream concealer just because I've been um, gravitating more towards cream products lately and I, I didn't see any reviews on it other than from um, Il Maquillage. So this is the Mystique Correcting Cream Concealer and it retails for $26 and you get 0 0.08 fluid ounces. Um, it's Mystique, the shade 15. Now, I was a bit disappointed in this because it's a little tiny bit. Like, it's not a lot at all. And it's $26. And I, I, I think that's a bit much, you know, for a little bit, tiny bit of concealer. And I also have the um, primer, which retails for $49. Zorla. The bottle is super cute. You know what I'm saying? It's nice. But it is, it's just, this is a no primer, poreless base, smoothing primer. Quite expensive for a primer, you know what I'm saying? And then I also have the eyeliner, and this retails, this is the ink liner in black, and it retails for $21. And then I purchased the concealer and the primer on May 13th, and it arrived on the 19th. So, hmm. Interesting. I've never seen the primer look like that on the inside. Alright, so one pump of the primer. If we can get it out. Is this inky? Like what's going on? Oh my god. Okay. So I guess it finally came out. So one full pump is going to look like that. That's one full pump. Okay, so I guess I'll have to use all of this. And it is a, a gel consistency, like silicone. So let's go ahead and slather this on here. It's really smooth on the face just a little bit. Doesn't really smell like anything. I just want to see if it's worth um, this whole $49 chair. Feels really good on the. Feels very smoothing. So there's that. And then. Okay. There's the foundation, just one pump. And I'm just gonna use my little, I don't know, when they, on the website, I think they're, the brush that they use is like a little brush kind of like this. And I don't wanna use this one because I used it with some other makeup. So I'm just gonna use my stippling brush. And this is in the shade 240. It's not my first time using this though. The first time I used it, I felt like it was a little dark. And it kind of has that like makeup smell. So I'm just trying to get this on my face and then I'll blend it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's looking a little orangey, a little reddy, reddish. It's supposed to have yellow undertones um, but the instructions do say to um, blend it out and then give it five minutes to oxidize so 
we'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do a full day wear test for y'all today. And we'll see how the primer and the foundation holds up throughout the day. And I'll probably just powder one side of my face. I don't know, I haven't really been, I haven't been using uh, powder lately, but I've noticed that I do need it because I have oily combination skin. But I don't know, like some powder just have you looking real dry. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, mm, so I'm just looking at some hyperpigmentation I have around my jawline. And I think it's, she holds me down. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. And I do concentrate my um, foundation around the perimeter of my face because I put concealer under my eyes sometimes. And then the perimeter of my face is darker than up under my eyes. So. Mm. I think the instructions said to use two pumps, if I remember correctly. There's, because um, I, I tried to record this video before. Well, I recorded this video before, and then I ended up ordering, um, I ended up ordering the primer and concealer, and I was like, okay, well, let me just re-record the video. So, there's that. But I do believe she said to you, it says to use two pumps, and I can't find the box, the original box, for the foundation. Um, I do have some dark marks peeking through. And around my mouth, like here, it's a bit darker. So we're just gonna build the coverage a little bit more, child. See, you know, see how we can get this pop. But one thing I I just noticed is that the concealer is not a just like a regular con concealer. It's a corrector. So there's that. I'm not really seeing any smoothing. Like I can still quite clearly see my pores. So yeah, let me come a little closer for y'all to see. As far as the pores, I don't really see anything being smooth. You know, I don't. I'm not getting no filter. In this here mirror but we'll let it sit you know we'll let it sit for a little while and then we'll see we'll see what's up um i do want to use my i want to use my fingers for this concealer I don't think it came with any instructions. The concealer and the primer didn't come like with any instructions, but the foundation did. So I don't know what's up with that. So cream concealer. Well, correcting concealer. Alright, so I did just finish blending the concealer out and uh, I'm gonna use this brush to and this does have a mirror so that's you know a good thing it's just tiny you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna use a brush to apply the concealer on this side and I did use the shade matching um, tool that they have on their website so I think as far as the foundation the match is pretty spot on you know I think they did it they did good they did really good when it comes to that you know I feel like for some reason when I use the brush to apply the concealer it looks a little blotchy oh I'm not really sure so if I can go with my fingers. Okay. 
Now I'm just going to apply some powder to, and this is just the minted translucent. Is it translucent? Well, it's the loose setting powder from Minted. And, um, you know. Dang, that looks like a setting brush. A setting brush. Oh, well. You know, I really need to clean my makeup brushes. Because I, I had planned to go out of town this weekend. But I'm just trying to sit still. You know how sometimes you just gotta sit still. You know, you're trying to make moves or whatever. Trying to get your money right. You just gotta stop spending money just frivolously, you know? So that's what I'm trying to do. All right. So what I'm actually gonna do, y'all, And I meant to just set one side of my face because I want to see how the foundation and the primer ho holds up with no powder. So I'm going to set my entire face on the left side just to, uh, so we'll see with this full day wear test what it be like. Powder brush by Beauty Bakery. So I should set the whole face. And I ain't going nowhere today, so I probably won't do a full face and whatnot, you know, just the foundation. Okay, so there's that. But I am going to go ahead and do a full day wear test for y'all. And I'll finish the rest of my makeup, I guess. Maybe throw on some blush. Nah, because I'm just going to do a foundation. Yeah, I'll probably just throw on some mascara. Um, and then let y'all know how it holds up throughout the day. We'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. This was a full day wear test. So a whole 12 hours. It is currently, it's what? 8.30. Yeah. 8.30. And I put the makeup on this morning at, well, not really a full hour. I put, well, I started it at like 8.30. Um, I probably finished around Oops. nine. But um, yeah, I mean, you might as well say 12 hours. It's probably not going to do much more within the last 30 minutes. However, I think it held up pretty well throughout the day, you know. Um, I am under a bunch of lights, so I look really oily. I didn't blot anything. The left side of my face was powder. And to be completely honest, I think it looks the same as the right side of my face in terms of oil and how you're still able to see my pores and all of that. Like the powder, I don't think, initially it made a difference. You know, you could you could see, you could tell a difference between the left side and the right side, but as the day went on, I don't think you could really tell a difference. So um, the primer, I think it held up pretty well as far as the makeup. The foundation, I think it, it is beautiful. Like it's really pretty. Um, it's just not blurring like the, the, I don't know. The primer just didn't really do it for me, especially for it to be $49. I don't think it's worth it. I didn't have any type, any irritation because I did see some people mention that, you know, it made their skin itch or whatever the case may be. I didn't have any irritation. I didn't experience any irritation. And typically my, I do have sensitive skin. My skin is oily and it's hot outside. You know what I'm saying? I went outside for a few minutes and I'll show you all, you know, where I did my little midday check-in. It was around one o'clock. So this foundation claims to even the skin, minimize the pores, shadows, and enhance the complexion and generates a naturally flawless matte finish. Um, I 
Mm, I guess upon the initial application, I didn't really get matte or, or natural fat matte. I guess that's supposed to be like a your skin but better type situation, maybe a little bit more matte. I didn't really get that upon the initial application. I think you can get, definitely get a full coverage wear out of this because as far as my blemishes, you can't really see them. You can't really see the blemishes. Of course the pimples are going to peek through you because you can't really hide texture. So yeah, there's that. And with the primer, it was supposed to blur the pores, fine lines, wrinkles, and instantly smooth the skin and maximizes the foundation time. Um, the lightweight texture, silky formula creates a, a soft, long-lasting Photoshop effect. I didn't really get that. Like, I don't think it minimized the pores because you could definitely still see my pores peeking through on both sides with the powder and without. So I didn't really, I don't know, you could definitely see my pores. So, I don't know. I still see pores, so... It doesn't really minimize the pores, to be honest. And also, there is quite a bit of creasing under the eye. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yes, quite a bit of creasing. This was the cream, correct, the correcting cream. And I did powder under both eyes with the setting powder, but the primer still creased. Um, honestly, I feel like the lip bars, the mattifying primer, I get more pore minimization with that for a fraction of the price. So I'm not really a fan of the primer. The foundation is gorgeous, I will say that. It's a beautiful finish. I did add a little bit of blush um, and I added a little bit of liner. Well, I used the Il Maquillage liner and I added a little bit of um, foundation by, um, what's a girl name? No, the foundation that I used was, oh, well, not the foundation, the mascara that I used was from Crayon Case. And I used some blush from Black Minerals. Both are Black-owned brands, but that's all I did. And I put a little bit of lip gloss on, a little bit of Fenty. And I did my eyebrows with the Uma Beauty brow thing. But, uh, yeah, y'all, that's it for this. I think the foundation is bomb, but I think you could pair it with pretty much any primer that you have already and probably get the same if not better result like the primer I definitely don't think it's worth $50 because I don't know for me it's just not really given you know what I mean not for the coin but the foundation I would definitely say is a go and uh, yeah that's it for this video y'all comment down below if you've tried this before the, the foundation the primer the eyeliner or whatever any of their products I know they have lip products as well um, the liquid concealer just comment down below if you've tried anything um, if you suggest anything and just let me know your thoughts and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one